going to do a quick video for you because it's your reading comprehension today. So remember, I will get you started, then you're going to pause. And really, it should be, you know, like a pause for maybe five minutes. So you're going to read for about the first three, three and a half minutes. You should be able to read the selection well, silently to yourself, and then turn over to the back and answer the questions as completely as you can. Hopefully not looking back, but if you do have to look back for this is fine, but the goal is to try to not have to look back as much, and I think I've mentioned that before. So give yourself about three, three and a half minutes to read the selection, so that way we can increase our speed, okay? I haven't like made you have to do that before, but I really want your parents and you to think, okay, let's increase the speed, because we don't wanna just take our time leisurely reading it, and not learning to read at a quicker pace with comprehension. That's what reading comprehension is. It's reading at a quicker pace. This doesn't really give a, a time frame, but I know that in the past that's what it's been. It's been three and a half to four minutes, but I wanna try, because we're at the end of the year, three and a half minutes at the max that it takes you to read through this and then go on to the back, okay? Um, so then you'll pause it for that time until you finish the back and then you'll come back in. So have you ever moved to a new place? Did you miss your old home? And some of you know exactly what that's like. You you move to a different state, okay? Not even just a new home or something, but um, you know, and some of you it was, it was a new house. I had to move to a new place. Did you miss your old home? The main character in this story misses many things about his old home. What do you think will cheer him up? So you now are going to pause it for about four minutes, four to five minutes and read it through in three and a half and do the back side in the next minute or so and then push me back on. I'll be standing here like this until you get ready to turn me back on and then we'll go over the answers together, okay? So three, two, one, pause it. Did you really pause it though? Because if you didn't, yeah, I know. Did you see me move? That was pretty good. That was a good statue, right? <laughs> Did I get you again? No, I know. You, you just... No, I saw you breathe. I saw you blink. I didn't blink, I don't think. And I barely breathed. But anyway, so hopefully you paused it for the time. And I hopefully you hope you paused it at the right moment. Don't pause it when I'm like making the weird faces. Please pause it when I look kind of like, you know, smiley and not like, you know. Yeah, okay. So hopefully you paused it. I've given you plenty of time now. And now pay the, um, oh, skill sheet 31. Did I even tell you that? Well, it's too late now because you already did it and you already paused it. So, all right, so skill sheet 31 and we're on page 62 on the back to answer the questions. Who is telling this story? I hope you read that carefully and thought that through because I hope some of you, I feel like might've put Jeremy and I hope you didn't because the story is talking about Jeremy, he's not the one that is telling the story because it's saying um, Jeremy prodded and um, Jer and then it says, I shivered, I missed my old home. Um, my new friend Jeremy was doing this. I shook my head, my friend shrugged. So Jeremy is not the one telling this. And then you might be thinking, well, how do I know? It just says I, it just says I. Well, if you are a very good reader, like I said, and being careful, you look down at the one, two, three, fourth stanza, and what does it say? Sam, follow me. So now you know who the I is. The I is Sam. Sam is telling the story. Okay, did you get that? So that's important because it doesn't just say his name. Hi, my name is Sam, and I know. It just gives you the, the little bit of a hint and a clue in the story. Oh, this Jeremy kid is talking to somebody 
Sam must be the one that he's talking to. That's, that's you know, the two people in this story, okay? In this story, the simile, remember, rushed like a torpedo, when you have like or as, rushed like a torpedo means what? He ran quickly, he yelled no noisily, he exploded. Right, he ran quickly, he ran like a torpedo, it says, toward the, the ocean or whatever. But that is what it's talking about, um, running quickly, not ran, rushed like a torpedo. So it means he ran quickly. In the chart below, list the details from the story to compare Sam's old home to his new home. So Sam's old home, what did you put? What do you see in the picture? You see the sun, you see that big bright sun, hot sun. The sand, nice white sand, he said that was, you know, where he was. Warm water, remember Sam said hey, there was warm water where I'm from. And lots of shells, you can see some of the shells that are there, colorful, pretty shells. And then, you know, you could say salty, you know, warm water, something like that. But if you had something about the sun, because you can see the sun, um, the, war the warm sand, the white sand, because that's what Sam talked about, um, and the shells that were all over the beach. So what about his new home? His new home had that spongy brown sand, remember he was saying? The water was freezing, freezing water. And there were just rocks everywhere and pieces of driftwood. But what else was there that kind of made him excited? The sea lions, the sea lions. So he was not very happy at first, but what did he have to do? He had to give it a chance. And sometimes it's a hard thing to do. We don't, we may not like where we are. I tell you, when Miss Monroe had to move to this place, I wasn't very happy about that. I had never had to live, I had never lived anywhere except for a house by myself with my parents and just us. And I, that's all. So to live somewhere else where there's people closer to you and all of that, it was hard. And now, as I've been walking around, especially during this quarantine time, taking Lady out for walks, I've been thanking the Lord. Thank you, Lord. You knew exactly where to bring me, where to put me. I feel so safe here. I have a place where I can walk Lady and I don't have to worry about anything. You knew exactly what would be the best place for me. And we have to give it a chance. Sam needed to just give it a chance. Now there's sea lions. That's the cool thing. He didn't have sea lions where he was before, but now he gets to enjoy something different. So give things a chance because you never know what great things can come from it. All right. I hope you enjoyed reading that. I'll talk to you soon.